Okay, hi, this is Hedrick here, Principal Horticulturist of Plant Visions, and I'm going to share with you some problems with uh, growing mini cattleyas. I like mini cattleyas because you can see over here, all right, they are small in size. As today, you know, we don't have large gardens, we have pretty small gardens, and being small in size, they do flower a lot more often than the standard cattleyas, which are about the size of your palm. For the mini cats, they do flower about two to three times a year as compared to once a year, or sometimes even two years once for the large cattleyas. And also, I like the colors of a mini cattleya because they're usually red, which is one of my favorite colors for plants. Okay, so now we're going to share with you some of the problems you may face when you grow your cattleyas and how to solve it. Okay, so right now here we have four different cattleyas and each of them have a problem to it and I'm going to show you what they are. Okay, the first one over here, this is actually a Brussels vola cattleya. It's got narrow leaves and actually do like a lot of sun. So you can see that they do have a lot of growth, but however they have a pretty much a similar one problem that is rot. Sometimes when you put these plants under a little bit more shade, they do tend to lose at least uh, to this concept of rot. You can see here it's all drying out. How do you know whether a plant is rotting? As you can see here, it's turning yellow and then it's got to black and then after that it's, it's really soft. Okay, it's, it's different from drying out. I'll show you what drying out is. So when it's like there's a lot of water and it's black, that shows it's a sign of rot. Next one I'm going to show you is this plant here. This plant that is what we call a problem of scale. What is a scale? Scale is a insect that you know think of a ninja turtle that parasites on your plant it's got a hard shell over here okay and what it does it bites into the leaf and suck the juice out the only way to treat it that i know is to use systemic in insecticide what's systemic insecticide is when you put the insecticide onto the plant the plant will suck it up into its um, xylem and vascular system just like us when we sometimes are very sick we need an injection into our bodies so that is the only way to treat it because if you spray any other uh, contact type of insecticide, all it does it just you know goes over the shell, which protects it. It doesn't really kill it. So how do you know whether the scale insect has died? As you can see over here, it has all these white dots. Okay, it shows that it has fallen off. However, with orchids, once it has been scarred, it is scarred for the life. Okay, so you can see here it's just not just in front but also at the back. This was a pretty bad infection. But however, after treating it, you see all the white dots over here, my new growths no longer have them. So this means that the insect have died. Next one. Another problem sometimes you face with cattleyas is the opposite where you give it sometimes too much sun. What's going to happen? You're going to let it to dry out. How do you know whether a plant is not getting enough water is that you can see the pseudobox over here it is all shriveled okay as compared to this one over here you see it's nice and plump so this is how you know that your orchid is not getting enough moisture another issue is you can see from the leaves over here it is all yellowing and also this plant is getting fungal infection and this, because there's a lot of dots it could be fungus it could be bacteria so um, this plant is not well so what you can do about it is one way is you can repot it, put a lot more high moisture media such as cocoa chips or you can put sawdust or sphagnum moss onto it and then put it back where you, it was. So um, this is an issue of dryness. Now sometimes you get a combination issue such as this plant over here. This plant is doing fairly well. Okay, As you can see over here the roots are white and the root tips are all pretty much green. So therefore you know that this section is doing well. However, if I turn the plant to this side, ah, what's happened? Rot. Okay, the, the, the plants have, you see it's soft, okay, and it's, you can sometimes you pull it out, you see moisture inside. That's a sign of bacteria rot, or what we call it, crown rot. Okay, it means that the water has stayed inside the pseudobulb for too long and therefore causing fungus to infect the pseudobulb. And another issue is because this is grown in coconut, okay, you see it's very very high moisture and this also can encourage rot to happen. What do I do with this? Or if what I do is to pull it out, separate it and then repot it. This is how you save your this um, orchid that is you know doing well but on the other side it isn't. So there you go. Some common problems when you grow catalysts.